Chapter 751, Deep Spiritual Observation After Medusa left, the valley became completely silent. The space lock in the sky had caused the small valley to become a place that was isolated from the outside world. No one would accidentally charge into this quiet ground. However, other than the lack of sound Medusa departure did not so much as cause a wave within the valley. That pile of rock fragments over the entrance of the cave still did not have any response. The enormous light cocoon within the valley similarly showed no sign of breaking through. Although it appeared similar to the past, any person with extremely strong spiritual perception would be able to discover that these two unusually powerful auras were quietly being concealed, awaiting the moment they would be reborn. Although the valley had reared some magical beasts, they did not dare to take even half a step into the deep valley because of the pressure that the light cocoon faintly emitted. They also did not dare to emit a roar that was too loud, afraid they would disturb the existence that filled them with great fear. Hence, the deep part of the valley had turned into one where humans and beasts were rare. The wild grass in the valley rapidly grew under the influence of the dense energy. In the end, the wild grass swept over the light cocoon. It continued to intertwine to form a green-colored web around the mountain cave and the light cocoon. In this way, a desolation was added to this valley. Only the enormous colorful energy swirl in the mid-air was emitting some life. Time swiftly flowed past within this deep valley that was isolated from the outside world. One day after another passed. Spring disappeared and autumn arrived. Without realizing it, around half a year had passed since Medusa had left. By counting the time that passed, Xiao Yan's and Xi Yan's retreats had nearly reached a year. Although such a long time was exhausted, there was still not the slightest unusual activity from the valley. The desolate quiet valley seemed to have quietly forgotten about them. Medusa did not return during this half a year. No one knew what happened to her. Wild grass was still growing all over the place within the deep valley. If no accident were to occur, it would soon occupy the entire mountain valley within a short period of time. Finally, it would follow the mountain wall and climbed out, appearing like blind green snake as it spread out. Time quietly flowed by within the desolate, deep valley. On a certain day, a slight unusual movement that was different than the usual monotony finally appeared in the deep valley. One could see that large energy swirl that was slowly rotating in the sky suddenly began to gradually cease spinning. Majestic energy poured down like a storm before finally transforming into two mountainous torrent-like energy pillars. One of these energy pillars charged into the valley, which was now hidden by the wild grass, while the other landed on the light cocoon, which was covered by wild grass. These two energy pillars that were over ten feet large cut through the air. The air emitted a sharp tearing sound as they did so. From this, it was sufficient to see just what kind of enormous energy was contained within these two energy pillars. Under such a large amount of energy, the wild grass within the valley suddenly withered at a speed visible to the naked eye. Within a couple of short breaths, it completely returned to how it was before. The large purple-colored light cocoon in the valley and the mountain cave blocked with rock fragments slowly reappeared. One of the two enormous energy pillars entered the light cocoon while the other entered the cave. They immediately ceased having any other unusual movements after that. The energy swirl in the air had already completely disappeared. The intense natural energy in the valley also gradually returned to its normal state. From the looks of the situation, it seemed that the two fellows who required an enormous amount of energy had already reached a stage where they were full. The light cocoon within the valley turned an increasingly deeper color after absorbing that enormous energy pillar. Some strange seals gradually appeared on the surface of the light cocoon. The glows that were gradually emitted from these seals appeared to be quite mysterious. There was no other activity after this change occurred within the valley. In the blink of an eye, another half a month passed. Within the cave, whose entrance was firmly blocked by a pile of rock fragments, the eyes that had been shut for nearly one year finally shook a little as they slowly opened. A storm full of lightning flashed through his dark black eyes one bolt after another as they opened. At that moment, even the air within the solemn mountain cave emitted a slight crackling sound. 
A majestic aura that had been silent for nearly one year finally became like a fierce tiger following the opening of his eyes. He slowly raised his head, faced the sky and emitted an earth-shaking roar. Even the mountain cave began to shake under the majestic aura that was more than a couple of times stronger than before. Numerous thick arm-sized crack lines spread out like spider webs from the spot where the black-robed, young man sat with his legs crossed. Finally, they spread over every single corner of the cave. Crack. The slight sound suddenly appeared while the black-robed, young man was seated on the green rock. Immediately, numerous tiny crack lines appeared. After which, they swiftly spread over the entire green rock before the green rock burst apart. It transformed into a countless number of fragments amid a low and deep rumble. The black-robed, young man seated on the green rock did not move even a little despite it bursting apart. Both of his legs were suspended on empty air and he continued to remain afloat in the air in this matter without borrowing any external strength. This, is the strength of a Doha Wang Hui. Xiao Yan's hand slowly moved. He sensed the majestic mountainous torrent like Dou Qi erupting within his body. A faint arc seeped out from the corner of his mouth. At this moment, a kind of heroic feeling of having everything held in one's hand surfaced within his heart. A powerful spiritual strength swept out in a lightning-like manner and spread in all directions like a storm with his body at the middle. The powerful spiritual strength was swiftly spread out of the cave and wrapped the entire valley within it. Using the spiritual strength to scan the place, Xiao Yan was able to see an enormous purple-colored light cocoon within the valley. Moreover, since he was relying on the sensitive spiritual strength, he could vaguely sense a powerful life being agglomerated within the cocoon. The spiritual strength spread to the valley. However, it did not stop because of this. Instead, it continued to head for the enormous magical beast mountain range and spread over it. Following the spreading of his spiritual strength, a countless number of scenes were reflected within Xiao Yan's head. Of course, there were quite a large number of powerful magical beasts within the magical beast mountain range. Hence, this overbearing spiritual scanning by Xiao Yan did not escape their notice. It was because of this that the vast mountain range immediately began to emit numerous earth-shaking furious roars. Countless numbers of low-rank magical beasts began to tremble amid these roars. Despite being able to sense Xiao Yan's spiritual scan, most of these powerful magical beasts, with the exception of those that possessed special abilities, were unable to cause much damage to Xiao Yan's spirit. Therefore, Xiao Yan's spiritual strength did not receive even the slightest attack during this overbearing scan of the place. The majestic spiritual strength spread over a 50 km radius. However, this seemed to be the hard limit. As a result, Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had difficulty advancing even an inch after having spread to encompass a mountain. Xiao Yan's mind moved upon seeing this. The spiritual strength that had spread out began to shrink in a lightning-like manner like flood water. With a couple of breaths, it had completely shrunk back into his body. Xiao Yan lifted his head slightly after the spiritual strength completely returned to his body. He let out a long breath and had just wanted to try to converge his spiritual strength deep within him when a thought suddenly struck him. His finger gently touched the dense white fire imprint on his forehead. Some unknown trembling quietly appeared deep within his spirit. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of moist air. His eyes flickered slightly before they immediately narrowed. His mind suddenly moved and a majestic spiritual strength once again swept out. However, it did not spread out this time around. Instead, it rushed into that fire seal on his forehead. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had just charged into the fire seal when a low, deep, Muffled sound exploded with a bang within his mind. Immediately, his eyes turned black and a small path that was formed from dense white flames appeared in front of him. There was a deep bottomless darkness on the two sides of the small path. There seemed to be no end to the small flame path at a glance. Xiao Yan's body moved and did not hesitate as he rushed down the small flame path. When the spiritual strength from earlier had reached a certain point, his usage of his spiritual strength appeared to be much clearer. The small path was indeed long. However, under the speed of his spiritual strength, 
which was faster than lightning, it only required over ten minutes before a flame hole appeared at the end of the small flame path. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength trembled slightly before ruthlessly charging over. Xiao Yan's spirit charged into the fire hole. The glaring dense white flame suddenly disappeared. Replacing it was an extremely pressuring darkness. This dark place seemed to be an enormous hall. The hall was so wide that it was somewhat frightening. A stone pillar that was over a thousand feet long reached into the sky as it supported this unusually large hall. This hall was covered with a countless number of clusters of light wrapped within a jade green glow. Xiao Yan's spirit swept over them and was shocked to realize that those clusters of light actually contained a living spiritual body within each of them. Xiao Yan's spirit rolled intensely because of this shocking scene. His spirit swiftly swept over the place. A moment later, his shock suddenly agglomerated on a cluster of jade green light that was near the middle spot of the large hall. Within it was an old man who had his eyes tightly shut. The thing that caused a storm to brew within Xiao Yan's heart was that this old man was Yao Lao who had been captured by the Hall of Souls. This is, is the Hall of Souls. Xiao Yan's spirit emitted a dull voice. The moment his voice had just sounded, the space in front of him suddenly fluctuated. Immediately, the space blasted apart like a broken mirror. A frightening spiritual strength that even the space could not withstand carrying an unusually dense darkness suddenly erupted. Mere contact with it shattered the spiritual remnant of Xiao Yan into nothingness. Chapter 752, Advancing to the Dohuang Class Xiao Yan, who was in the valley, suddenly opened his eyes the moment his spiritual body turned into nothingness. Cold perspiration covered his forehead. His eyes contained a faint shock. He could guarantee that the place that he had seen earlier with the help of the spiritual fire imprint that his teacher had left behind was definitely that mysterious hall of souls. The cave emitted a somewhat anxious and heavy breathing sound. A long while later, it finally gradually disappeared. Xiao Yan wiped off the cold perspiration that covered his forehead. He sat down on a rock behind him and fell deep into thought. The extremely large hall from earlier should be the extremely mysterious hall of souls. Xiao Yan could only attribute his ability to enter that place and have a peep around due to the spiritual fire imprint that Yao Lao had left behind. The frightening spirit that had appeared amid the shattered space should be the guardian of that hall of souls. Xiao Yan was also uncertain about whether he was the leader of the Hall of Souls. In any case, the only thing he knew was that even though his strength had greatly soared, he was still no match for that mysterious expert. This Hall of Souls does indeed have many strong people. From the looks of the terrifying spirit earlier, it is likely that even Protector Wu would not be able to compare with him, Xiao Yan muttered softly. A moment later, he rubbed his forehead and sighed in relief within his heart. No matter how bad the situation was, he, at the very least, knew that Yao Lao was indeed still alive. There would definitely be a chance as long as Yao Lao was still alive. Teacher, wait for this disciple, Xiao Yan slowly clenched his fist. A determination surfaced within his eyes. He stood up and inhaled a deep breath of air. The powerful galloping torrent-like Dou Qi within his body gradually expelled the chill that remained within his body. The current him was already a genuine elite Dou Huang. Moreover, he was still young. As long as he was given enough time, Xiao Yan believed that the next time he met the frightening spirit within that Hall of Souls, he would not end up like this time around where he was defeated without even having any ability to retaliate. Xiao Yan slowly expelled the distractions within his heart. His body moved, and slowly walked toward the entrance of the cave, which was still firmly blocked by rocks. A moment later, he slowly opened his palm and gently placed it on the rocks. His mouth suddenly said, Break! Bang! A loud sound immediately resounded the moment Xiao Yan's cry rang out. Rock fragments shot out from the cave in all directions. The mountain cave was once again opened amid the dust that spread all over the place. Xiao Yan slowly walked out. He narrowed his eyes and ignored the glaring sunlight. His body stood at the cave's entrance as he spread both of his hands to allow that warm sunlight to shine on his body. 
A warm feeling filled all of his limbs and bones, causing Xiao Yan's face to gradually relax. Xiao Yan stayed still basking in the sunlight for a long while before walking out. His gaze swept over the deep parts of the valley, and immediately paused on that enormous purple-colored light cocoon. Although he already knew that this girl's evolution had yet to be completed when his spiritual strength had spread, he could not help but shake his head when he saw it with his own eyes. It was really not easy for this girl to advance in rank. Where is Cai Lin? Did she leave? Xiao Yan knit his brows slightly. His eyes shifted from the light cocoon and swept in all directions. While he was speaking uncertainly to himself, his sweeping gaze saw a scroll on a huge rock not far from the light cocoon. Xiao Yan beckoned with his hand and sucked the scroll into his palm. He slowly opened it with some doubt as his gaze slowly swept over it. A moment later, he frowned intently and whispered, it is actually because something has happened to the snake people rack. However, according to what she wrote, she would return once again after settling the matter. Don't tell me that she has yet to settle it even until now. Xiao Yan's expression also changed slightly when he thought of this. Even with Medusa's strength, she was unable to swiftly settle the matter. It seemed that the trouble that the snake people race met with this time around was indeed quite troublesome. Xiao Yan stored the scroll into his storage ring after gaining an understanding of the entire matter. He looked at the light cocoon by his side and helplessly shook his head. He said, forget it, allow me to protect you for a period of time. Otherwise, I would also feel uneasy leaving now. Coincidentally, I have just broken through to the Dohuang class and will still need some time to train the Dou Qi within my body. Once he said this, Xiao Yan's body moved and appeared on a huge rock in the valley before he slowly shut his eyes. Xiao Yan had smoothly exited his retreat and had successfully advanced to the Dohuang class. However, he did not leave by himself after taking little Xiai Yan into consideration. Instead, he chose to remain in the valley to take care of Xiai Yan. He would also use the opportunity to grind and get used to the Dou Qi within his body that had greatly soared. Time still quietly flowed by within the valley. However, the current valley was undoubtedly more lively compared to before. The origin of this liveliness was naturally the destructive sound that was created around the valley while Xiao Yan trained his Dou Qi. Time swiftly flowed through one's fingers amid this training of Xiao Yan's strength. Without realizing it, another half a month had passed. That light cocoon, which was completely void of activity, finally changed in a way that caused Xiao Yan to rejoice during this period of time. Not only did the light on the seals on the surface of the light cocoon become increasingly more dense but there was a slight crack line faintly spreading. The crack lines also emitted beads of purple glow. From the looks of the situation, it seemed it would not be long until Xi Yan broke out of the cocoon. A black-robed person was suspended in the air above the valley. At this moment, his hands were swiftly forming complex hand seals. The seals were being formed at an increasingly faster rate. In the end, some afterimages even appeared. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he looked at the flying seal in his hand. A flushed redness appeared on his face and some dense perspiration formed on his forehead. The exhaustion of Dou Qi because of this hand seal was quite frightening. The flying hand seals suddenly paused at a certain instance while Xiao Yan cried out, See flipping seal. The cry sounded and Xiao Yan's hand stiffened on a strange arc. His hand suddenly pushed toward the sky. Following the pushing of his palm, a majestic Dou Qi surged and swiftly covered Xiao Yan's hand. A layer of jade green film quietly agglomerated within this majestic energy. A strange jade green cuticle swiftly wrapped around Xiao Yan's hand. An instant later, a jade green crystal clear hand imprint the size of a hand suddenly shot out. This light imprint appeared to be molded from a jade green crystal, appearing extraordinarily beautiful. However, the majestic energy that was contained within it was extremely shocking. One could see that even the air where it flew through would become distorted. The air was pressured into a clear concave arc. The crystallized green light imprint flashed across the sky. Finally, it collided with the layer of spatial lock. A loud earth-shaking sound was immediately erupted. 
A wild wind suddenly surfaced and one could see numerous water wave-like ripples forming and swiftly spreading from the area where the spatial lock was located. A moment later, this spatial lock that Medusa had created with all her strength had been broke by Xiao Yan. A ten-foot wide hole was created. Xiao Yan raised his head and looked at the distorted space. He finally let out a long sigh. Being the second seal of the god seal skill, the might of this flipping sea seal was indeed even stronger than the open mountain seal. It was indeed worthy of being a powerful Dou technique that required one to be an elite Dou Huang in order to practice. Xiao Yan had spent most of his time during these two months on practicing the god seal skill. However, this was the first time that he was able to successfully unleash it. Despite this being the first time and was still imperfect, it already possessed such might. One could imagine just what kind of strength it would have once Xiao Yan practiced it until he reached complete mastery. Xiao Yan had experienced the difficulty of this god seal skill when he had begun practicing the open mountain seal back then. Hence, he was already mentally prepared. He could barely be considered to have reached the stage where he could use the open mountain seal as he liked. On the other hand, he had not even reached an initial mastery of this flipping sea seal. It might be difficult for the skill to have much impact when he fought an enemy in the future. Looks like I need to practice it properly. If I meet any elite Dozong in the future, this flipping sea seal might be able to achieve a surprising result, Xiao Yan clenched his hand and muttered softly. It is already getting late. I shall train until here today, Xiao Yan raised his head to look at the sky before laughing softly. His body had just landed when the entire valley violently shook. Xiao Yan was also surprised when he sensed this sudden tremor. His gaze immediately shot down. That purple-colored light cocoon in the middle of the valley was emitting a bright, strong light at this moment. Is she about to successfully advance? The sudden scene that appeared caused the surprise in Xiao Yan's eyes to become increasingly more dense. There was finally activity from this girl. Following the more intense light from the light cocoon, a slight cracking sound finally appeared. Immediately, the tiny crack lines that covered the light cocoon immediately burst apart. Countless rays of bright purple radiated from the crack lines and shot to the sky. Fortunately, there was the spatial lock still there to block it. Otherwise, this unusual activity would definitely have attracted plenty of attention. More and more crack lines appeared. In the end, a layer of the large cocoon shell was suddenly shed. Following the shedding of the first piece, a chain reaction seemed to have occurred on this light cocoon. The light cocoon swiftly cracked apart, and a purple-colored light pillar suddenly rushed to the sky before colliding with the spatial lock. The spatial lock emitted ripples one after the other. Xiao Yan's gaze stared intently at the enormous purple-colored light pillar. By relying on his eyesight, he could vaguely see a blurry human figure within the light pillar. The light pillar was maintained for a moment before turning pale. A moment later, it completely disappeared. The human figure within it also appeared in Xiao Yan's line of sight. The human figure which that had appeared was completely naked. A faint purple glow lingered over her body causing her to appear to possess a magical charm. Long, smooth purple-colored hair scattered down and landed on her lovely protruding buttocks. Which part of her matured body that protruded from the front and the back was a style that the little girl from back then possessed? Looking at the somewhat matured, yet cute appearance, this was surprising the little Zi Yan who had grown big. This is Zi Yan. Xiao Yan was stunned as he looked at this girl whose figure was matured. It was completely chaotic. It was difficult to imagine that the little girl would develop so well and become so attractive. Chapter 753, Leaving the Valley Zi Yan, who was in the Pillar of Light, stretched her lazy waist at this moment. Her extremely attractive curves were even more eye-catching. She lazily opened her eyes and looked at the stunned Xiao Yan in the sky. A naughty thought rose within her heart and she threw an embarrassed gaze that hit a flirting look toward the latter. Xiao Yan's entire body shivered in the sky upon receiving the flirting gaze. He bitterly smiled and shook his head. This girl still had the character of a child. Xiao Yan moved his body and slowly descended. 
He did not look as he took out a robe from his storage ring, and was about to hand it over to Xi Yan. However, his body had yet to come into contact with the other when the latter's body shook. An unusual green glow erupted from her body. Under this green glow, Xi Yan's body began to quickly shrink at a rate visible to the naked eye. In merely a couple of breaths, the great beauty who possessed a lovely figure immediately turned into a little girl who was still naked. Xiao Yan was stunned as he looked at this transformation of Xi Yan. He could not help but laughed out loud as he shook his head. It seemed that advancing to rank 6 did not allow Xi Yan to completely resolve the medicinal effects of that body transformation grass. Xi Yan was also shocked because of this change of hers. However, when she saw that her body had once again transformed back into the little girl of the past, her two small eyebrows immediately became vertical. She looked at Xiao Yan gloating in front of her and involuntarily pounced forward angrily. Both of her hands repeatedly clawed randomly at Xiao Yan's face. Xiao Yan's hand hugged Xi Yan who had pounced forward. He felt her extremely soft, smooth jade-like skin and his eyes immediately began to drift. He let out a dry cough. He hurriedly and forcefully placed the black robe in his hand onto Xi Yan's body. After which, he violently knocked on her head and said, Be quiet. Otherwise, I will not help you refine a body transformation pill in the future, and let you continue to have this appearance for the rest of your life. Xi Yan covered her little head and curled her mouth with an unwillingness. However, she was still quite afraid of Xiao Yan's threat. Hence, she could only lower her head and mutter, This damn body transforming grass. Xiao Yan pinched Xi Yan's jade carving like cute face and laughed, This appearance of yours is not bad. It is really likable. Chi, what duplicity. You clearly liked that other figure just now. Don't think I was unaware of it. Cai Lin Ji said that all of you men are like this. Xi Yan used disdainful eyes to look at Xiao Yan. The appearance of the latter earlier was on the edge of causing one to have a nosebleed. Xiao Yan immediately felt embarrassed when he heard this. He ruthlessly pinched Xi Yan's face and hurriedly changed the topic of the conversation. All right, since you have successfully advanced, let us leave this place. I may not know exactly how long we have stayed but I think that it has likely been a long time. Has Cai Lin Ji left first? Xi Yan's eyes swept over the valley as she spoke with a deep thought. She could vaguely sense the activity in the valley while she had transformed into a cocoon. She had faintly sensed when Medusa had left back then. Yes, something happened to the Snake People tribe and she needed to return to resolve it. We can also make a trip there once we leave and lend our hand. Xiao Yan nodded. He placed Xi Yan down and smiled as he replied. For such a long time, Medusa had been providing him with a lot of help. Moreover, even though he was forced to do that matter back then, it was impossible to really act like it was just a lustful night no matter how one put it. Hence, his feelings for Medusa were also quite complicated. Xi Yan naturally did not object to this. Her relationship with Cai Lin was quite good. It was natural that she would go and help the latter. Xiao Yan's body moved when he saw Xi Yan nodding her head, and appeared in the air without any warning. He lifted his head and looked at that somewhat distorted space not far away, Xi Yan also followed behind him. She swept her gaze over it and said in a surprised manner, This is a spatial seal, right? Only an elite Do Zone can use it. I think that this should be left behind by Cai Lin Ji, right? Yes, she needed to leave in a hurry and was afraid that others would disturb our advancement. Therefore, she placed this spatial lock over this valley. Xiao Yan looked at the distorted space and spoke without turning his head, move aside. I will break it. Dou Qi within Xiao Yan's body wildly surged once he said this. This spatial lock that was created from all of Medusa's strength was unusually strong. If he had not advanced to the Dou Huang class, the chances of him successfully breaking it were extremely low. All you know is how to use brute force, Xi Yan by the side curled her lips when she saw this. 
Her body immediately began to slowly rise and a strange purple glow seeped out from her body just when she was about to make contact with the distorted space. After which, her body became like a fish as she penetrated the distorted space and disappeared. Xiao Yan's face was completely stunned as he watched Xi Yan do this. A moment later, he bitterly laughed and shook his head. He had forgotten that Xi Yan seemed to have an immunity to these kinds of locks. Back then, the various enchantments placed on the medicinal warehouse did not have the slightest effect of blocking her. Despite this, Xiao Yan was still somewhat surprised that she could so easily pass through this distorted space. Xi Yan's body once again blended and came out from the distorted space while Xiao Yan was surprised. She extended a small snow white hand toward Xiao Yan and gloatingly laughed, Follow me, I will bring you out. Xiao Yan also smiled when he saw this but he did not reject her offer. This small valley possessed quite a lot of rare medicinal ingredient. Having the spatial seal here would coincidentally prevent people from accidentally roaming into this place. Xiao Yan grabbed Xi Yan and a faint purple glow immediately spread over him from the latter. It swiftly wrapped around Xiao Yan. Both their bodies shrank and charged into the distorted space before disappearing. A lush green color from the endless mountain range filled Xiao Yan's eyes. Wild wind blew over and a whistle resounded over the mountain range. It unleashed a limitless liveliness within this valley. The space in the air of a secret region between a couple of mountain peaks within the mountain range suddenly fluctuated. Two human figures slowly appeared. Their eyes moved in all directions, and they felt the cooling breeze that blew toward them. Their bodies felt light like they could drift away. We have finally come out, Xiao Yan could not help but sigh in relief as he looked at the vast mountain range. After having stayed for such a long period of time in the cave, he had nearly forgotten what the feeling of wind blowing across his body was like. Xi Yan by the side randomly swept her gaze around. She secretly sighed in relief when she did not find any magical beasts around her. She still remembered the frightening beast tide that she and C.A. Island had stirred up within the magical beast mountain range before she transformed into a cocoon. Even Medusa could only bring her along and flee under that beast tide. Despite having already advanced, she still involuntarily felt the skin on her head turn numb when she thought of the densely packed crazy magical beasts. Let's go. Xiao Yan did not notice the little actions of Xi Yan. After having determined their direction, he waved toward her and a pair of fire wings instantly extended out. After which, he flew toward the exit of the mountain range. Xi Yan at the back carefully observed her surroundings before hurriedly following him. The two human figures turned into light rays that flew across the sky. Their high speed brought about a wind pressure that left behind a ripple on the sea of trees underneath them. However, Xiao Yan's body suddenly paused after having flown for around three to five minutes. Xi Yan at the back could not react in time and slammed into Xiao Yan's back. What are you doing? Xi Yan rubbed her forehead and grumbled. It seems a little too quiet, Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes and slowly said. His eyes swept over his surroundings as he did so. He had yet to hear a single beast roar since he had come out of the valley. This kind of situation might be very normal if it appeared somewhere else. However, it was clearly not right if it appeared within the magical beast mountain range which was covered in magical beasts. Xi Yan also felt that something was a little amiss when she heard this. Her small eyebrows were vertical as she sensed her surroundings for a moment. She nodded and said, yes, the surroundings do not have any magical beasts aura. Moreover, she suddenly twitched her small nose when she reached this point. There seems to be an unusual smell in the air. Xiao Yan was initially startled when he heard this. He slightly knit his brows and inhaled a breath of air. His expression changed a moment later. He spoke in a dark and solemn manner, don't inhale it into your body. The air is mixed with poisonous gas, but it is very faint. What exactly happened? This thought churned within his heart. The mystery that had suddenly appeared caused Xiao Yan's heart to feel some pressure. For some unknown reason, he repeatedly felt a faint uneasiness. After musing for a moment, he waved his hand and spoke with a deep voice, let's go. 
we will head to the small Ching Shan town to take a look first. In this situation, it seemed that he must look for a place where there were people in order to be able to gain some information. Is this poisonous gas released by that person? Zi Yan nodded slightly before suddenly asking. The person she mentioned was naturally the little fairy doctor whom they had met by chance in the valley back then. It should not be the case. This poison gas is not considered strong and the difference when compared to her is like that between the heavens and earth. However, why would so much spread around? Xiao Yan shook his head. He clearly understood the little fairy doctor's current poison skill. If she were to release it, it was likely that there would not be a single person left alive within 500 kilometers. But what exactly happened? Xiao Yan muttered to himself within his heart while he frowned. The fire wings on his back were flapped and his body immediately transformed into a blurry figure that shot toward the spot the small Qing Shan town was located. Chapter 754 Great Chaos Compared to Qing Shan town of the past, it undoubtedly appeared much more pressurized and quiet today. Human figures were rare on the streets within the town. The gates around it were all tightly shut. Black masses of human figures were partially visible on the towering walls that were built using granite. Soft private conversations were repeatedly resounding among the human crowd. Damn it, how did these poison users enter the middle area of the empire? Does the front not have the defensive line of the Yan Alliance and the Imperial family? The three large empires have joined hands to attack the Jiama Empire. Regardless of how strong the Yan Alliance is, there is a limit to their manpower. How could they take care of every position? These ten plus bastards should have slipped in through a gap. What do we do now? Looking at those badges on the chest of these fellows, there is a four-star poison master. Other than an expert at the Do Wang class, who can deal with a poison master of this level. Ugh, our Qing Shan town currently only possesses company leader Yan Cheng who is an 8-star Do Ling. The others are mostly at the Do Shi or the Da Do Shi class. If that 4-star poison master scatters a poison fog over, it is likely that many people present will immediately be poisoned and fall unconscious. Damn it, if it is really not possible we will go all out and fight with them. We have many people, do we still need to be afraid of the ten plus of them? They earnestly wish that we will open the gates on our own. It is not as though you are unaware of just how frightening a poison master is. They specialize in fighting against a group alone. If it were not a situation where the other party suppressed them with absolute strength, it will not be easy to kill them. A large group of large cold-faced mercenary was surrounded in the middle of a black mass of human heads. They had a similar mercenary company badge on their chest. If one were to look carefully, they were surprisingly the bloody battle mercenary company Xiao Yan had rescued back then. The middle-aged man at the leader's spot was the company leader of the bloody battle mercenary company, Yan Cheng. Beside him were the two familiar faces of Ka Gang and Ling Er. At this moment, all the gazes were thrown onto the ten-plus human figures outside of the walls. Their faces were somewhat ugly. Second uncle, what should we do? It is not a solution to continue guarding in this manner. It is rumored that quite a number of poison masters have snuck into the this magical beast mountain range. Recently, there have been reports of small towns being washed with blood. These vicious methods are something that only these perverts could do. Ling Er's bright eyes were viciously looking at the ten-plus human figures below the walls while she spoke in a somewhat anxious tone. What else can we do other than to defend this place until we die? Do you not see that they possess a tier 4 poison master among them? A poison master of this tier is someone whom even I do not have much of chance of winning against. Today, if the other side possessed an expert who could fly in the tall specially built walls, which were built to defend against an attack by the magical beasts, around Qing Shan town didn't exist, it is likely that they would have long since charged in and begun a massacre. Yan Cheng's expression was extremely gloomy as he spoke. Now, we can only wait. This place is the interior of the Jiama Empire. As long as we endure for a period of time, there might be an expert from the Yan Alliance who will come and rescue us. Ling Er laughed bitterly in her heart. 
She quietly sighed, currently, most of the experts from the Yan Alliance were delayed by the experts from the three large empires. Where would it find the excess strength? However, while everyone was discussing a plan, the ten-plus grey-robed human figures below the wall finally began to display some activity. An old man, who wore a poison centipede badge with four colorful lines on his chest, slowly walked forward. His dark and cold triangular eyes glanced at the walls as an ear-piercing awful sound was slowly emitted. The voice immediately reverberated within the ears of everyone on the wall. We will give all of you ten minutes to decide whether you will open the gates by yourself, or the old me will unleash a poison fog and let all the people in this small town die because of your foolish actions. The grey-robed old man slowly shut his eyes after his voice sounded. He did not bother about just what kind of uproar it stirred on the walls. Time slowly passed by. The grey-robed old man slowly opened his eyes after ten minutes. His shriveled face involuntarily revealed a cruel smile when he saw that the wall had no reaction. His voice was dark and cold as he said, Do you really think that the city wall is able to protect all of you? An unusual green glow surfaced on the old man's face once he said this. He immediately waved his sleeves and a large dense green poison fog appeared. The ten somewhat young grey-robed individuals behind the old man immediately let out a deep cry when the poison fog appeared. They waved both of their hands, carrying a wild wind with it. As this wild wind blew, the green-colored poison fog began to gradually scatter before finally lingering over the city walls. You stow chi to cover your bodies. Don't breathe. Yan Cheng's expression immediately changed drastically as he cried out loud when he saw the green-colored poison fog that slowly drifted up. The mercenaries on the wall hurriedly maneuvered the Dou Qi within their bodies with all their strength when they heard Yan Cheng's loud cry. After which, they wrapped their bodies with their Dou Qi. Tisk tisk, you actually want to block the old me's green snake poison with your mediocre mercenary strengths. The grey-robed old man coldly laughed when he saw this. He waved his sleeves and the ten people behind him did their best to stimulate the Dou Qi within their bodies. After which, they created waves after waves of wild wind that blew the green-colored poison fog up. The poison fog rose and it eventually began to gradually reach the height of the walls a moment later. It immediately wrapped many mercenaries with it. Quite a number of weak mercenaries began to show signs of giddiness at the moment of contact. A moment later, they actually fell head first to the ground and became unconscious. Yan Cheng's face also became increasingly uglier when he saw this. He clenched his teeth and viciously said, Damn it, go all out and fight with these bastards. Brothers, follow me and charge. Ling Er by the side opened her mouth slightly when she heard this. However, she could only sigh in a disparate manner. A tier 4 poison master could be considered a main military strength even if placed in the battleground at the front. Their fighting strengths were naturally extraordinary. With just these mercenaries from their bloody battle mercenary company, they would most likely be just seeking death by going over. However, if they did not, this poison fog would sooner or later cause all of them to lose their fighting strength. At that time, they would end up dying more miserably. The faces of those members of the bloody battle mercenary company trembled after hearing Yan Cheng's voice. They furiously nodded as they tightened their grips on their sharp blades. The grey-robed old man below looked at the commotion on the wall and the ruthlessness in his eyes became denser. Other than the expert Doling, whom he was quietly a little concerned about, he could take the little lives of the remaining people up there with a wave of his hand. The grey-robed old man let out a savage laugh in his heart. Another wave of green-colored fog was spat out. The desolate feeling within the hearts of those people on the wall involuntarily became denser upon seeing this. This old bastard really did hold the thought of completely massacring all of them. Quite a number of mercenaries began to harden themselves. They planned to head down and stake their lives after seeing the slow rise of the second cluster of bright green poisonous fog. Having frequently licked blood from their blades, they did not feel the slightest fear despite knowing that this action of theirs was seeking death. In any case, they would die no matter what they did. The temperature of the sky suddenly rose swiftly while everyone was prepared to descend from the walls. 
Following the increase in the temperature, the dense green poison fog began to emit a chi chi sound. Immediately, it became like snow in boiling oil as it swiftly scattered. The sudden scene resulted in both parties being startled. They looked at each other with faces that were at a loss. Two blurry human figures suddenly flashed over from the direction of the magical beast mountain range while everyone was still at a loss. Within a couple of breaths, these two people appeared in the sky above the small town. Expert Do Wangs Everyone looked at the pair of Do Chi wings on the back of these two people the moment their figures appeared. They immediately emitted waves of exclamations. Immediately, both parties became uneasy, fearing that this was the other party's reinforcement. Among the two human figures who had appeared, the person in front was completely wrapped within a jade green flame. A hot temperature was scattered from his body. Behind him was a little girl whose body was emitting a faint purple glow. She was looking at the grey-robed person below curiously. The jade green flame rippled slowly. A moment later, it gradually scattered and revealed the black-robed, young man within it. The somewhat uneasy Yan Cheng and the others on the wall looked at the black-robed, young man who had revealed his face. They were suddenly startled. Ling Er by the side was also stunned as she muttered, it is actually him. Chief Xiao. Yan Cheng was startled for a moment before he suddenly reacted to the situation. His body suddenly stood up and he shouted in excitement. The mercenaries did not recover within a short period of time when they heard the shout of Yan Cheng. However, from the looks of Yan Cheng's appearance, it seemed that the person who had arrived was not an enemy. They immediately sighed in relief. The expression of the grey-robed old man below changed drastically at the same time as Yan Cheng shouted out loud. It seemed that the person who had arrived was an expert from the Jiuma Empire. When this thought flashed across his heart, his body suddenly turned into a green fog as he rushed toward the forest. The ten grey-robed people behind him hurriedly followed. Xiao Yan's gaze observed the fleeing ten-plus grey-robed human figures from the sky. An invisible flame on the tip of his finger fluctuated slightly. Chi. Chi. The moment the fluctuation appeared, the ten-plus grey-robed human figures, who were about to enter the forest, suddenly trembled. They immediately turned into a pile of black ashes in front of the many shocked gazes on the wall without even leaving behind a miserable cry. Xiao Yan displayed his vicious tactics of killing over ten people in an instant before his body moved and appeared on the wall. He frowned slightly as he looked at those unconscious mercenaries. After taking out a couple of medicinal pills, he tossed them into the air and struck them with the flick of his finger. A wisp of jade green flame wrapped around them and a dense pill fragrance spread out from within the pills. When the pill fragrance spread, the unconscious, poisoned mercenaries on the walls began to slowly wake up amid many coughing sound. All of them were at a loss. Xiao Yan ignored the heated respectful gazes around him. He strode toward the spot where Yan Cheng and the others were located. The first words he asked in a deep voice were, What has happened? Chapter 755, Poison Sect, Gold Geese Sect, Mulan Valley Yan Cheng was stunned when he heard Xiao Yan's words. Such a big event had occurred within the Empire, but the overlord of the Empire was actually completely unaware of it. I was in a retreat for a period of time. Xiao Yan explained, appearing to have understood what Yan Cheng thought when he saw the latter's appearance. Yan Cheng only came to a sudden understanding when he heard this. He bitterly laughed, it is unexpected that Chief Xiao had undertaken a retreat for a year. This year was not calm. It is not exaggerating to say that this was the period of the greatest upheaval in the history of the Jiuma Empire. I have undertaken a retreat for a year hui, Xiao Yan softly sighed. He immediately changed the topic again, what has happened in the empire? Those fellows from a moment ago should be poison masters, right? Such an occupation should be extremely rare in the Jiuma empire. Why did so many of them appear at once? It is because they are not people from the Jiuma empire. Ling Er by the side quietly interrupted. Her eyes had remained on Xiao Yan's face ever since the latter had appeared. The unusual glint in her eyes looked just like a lovely embarrassed young girl who had a crush. 
they are the poison masters from the Chu Yun Empire. Yan Cheng sighed, not long after Chief Xia rescued our bloody battle mercenary company back then, there was news that the Chu Yun Empire was about to attack our Jiama Empire. After which, an increasing number of border conflicts occurred. It was still all right initially and it was merely a fight between the armies of both countries. Each party had their own victories and losses with little progress. However, after this stalemate continued for a month, a large number of poison masters suddenly appeared in the military of the Chu Yun Empire. Under their threat, the Jiama Empire immediately lost quite a number of border fortresses. Just as the upper echelons of the imperial family became furious because of this, news that the poison sect of the Chu Yun Empire wanting to participate in the battle was spread. Fear flashed across Yan Cheng's face when he mentioned the name that caused one's hair to stand. His voice had also become much softer. The poison sect. Xiao Yan uttered this foreign name in his mouth and his brows were tightly knit together. This poison sect has only recently been established within the Chu Yun Empire. However, its strength is unusually terrifying. Within a short five years, it had completely destroyed all the sects and factions within the Chu Yun Empire. Their poison sect has leaped to become the only overlord over the Chu Yun Empire. Moreover, it is rumored that even the imperial family of the Chu Yun Empire is quietly controlled by them. In the Chu Yun Empire, it is more effective to speak to the sect leader of the poison sect than to the emperor from the imperial family. Yan Cheng explained again when he saw the uncertainty on Xiao Yan's face. What is the strength of the sect leader of the poison sect like? Xiao Yan slowly asked. It is rumored that it is at the very least at the Dou Zone class. Due to the poison sect participating in the battle, the Yan Alliance, being the strongest faction within the Jiama Empire is naturally unable to stand by the side and do nothing. Hence, a fight where the two large factions exchanged blows occurred. During a big battle half a year ago, that mysterious sect leader of the Poison Sect appeared once. In that battle, Ice Emperor Hai Badong, the old senior called Jilao and the Imperial family as well as an enormous magical beast, whose strength was at the Dohuang class were defeated in the hands of the sect leader of the poison sect despite joining hands. Yan Cheng laughed bitterly. A deep fear flashed across his eyes when he mentioned the class that was far and unattainable. Xiao Yan Yi eyes flickered. His heart also sank slightly. It was unexpected that Old Hai and the other two were no match for that sect leader of the poison sect. It seemed that the other party was really strong. He waved his hand and said, continue speaking. Just as the Ice Emperor and the other two were in danger, Queen Medusa from the Snake People race suddenly appeared. She engaged in a big battle with that sect leader of the Poison Sect but both parties had difficulty determining a victor. The sect leader from the Poison Sect withdrew. Only then did the Yan Alliance avoid a life and death disaster. Yan Cheng smacked his mouth. His eyes revealed a yearning for that soul-stirring big battle that day. A moment later, he finally sighed and laughed bitterly towards Xiao Yan, with Queen Medusa's help, the Yan Alliance has finally stood on their feet. After forming an alliance with the Snake People race, they began to retaliate against the Poison Sect. The Snake People race have also intervened. Xiao Yan was immediately startled when he heard this as he spoke with some surprise. Although Medusa was the queen of the Snake People race, the Snake People race did not have many good feelings toward the Jiama Empire. It seemed somewhat impossible for them to lend a hand to the Jiama Empire. Yes, this is because the Chu Yun Empire had initially placed their aim on them. That big battle caused their Snake People race to suffer great losses. If Queen Medusa had not hurried back in time, it was likely that the entire Snake People race would be eliminated. Yan Cheng nodded and replied. So C.A. Island had suddenly left back then because of this, Xiao Yan's eyes flickered slightly. Only now did he know just why Medusa needed to leave in a hurry back then. Since everyone's enemy is the poison sect from the Chu Yun Empire, they are naturally able to join hands. Although there was still some conflict during this period of time, 
This completely disappeared after that Ji Lao from the imperial family opened his mouth and promised that he would definitely give the snake people race a plot of land to breed and survive on if they were victorious in the big battle. With the help of Medusa and the snake people race, it is likely that the Chu Yun Empire would also suffer right. Xiao Yan smiled and asked. He still possessed some confidence in the strength of the Yan Alliance. Moreover, the snake people race also had many experts. With this union between the strong, the poison sect would have to withdraw to avoid the blade of this union regardless of how strong they were. If things developed in a normal manner, this would indeed have been the case. Yan Cheng bitterly smiled and sighed. He said, however, not long after the Snake People race announced its alliance with the Jiuma Empire, the Chu Yun Empire pulled over the other two large empires that beside the Jiuma Empire. The alliance of the three empires resulted in their strength soaring. It caused the pressure on the Yan Alliance and the Snake People race to rise greatly. Two other large empires. Xiao Yan frowned slightly. Two names immediately flashed across his mind, the Lu Yan Empire and the Mulan Empire. Yes. These two empires are not weaker than the Jiuma Empire. They could even be said to be a little stronger than the Jiuma Empire. These two large empires also possess two large beings that are not much weaker than the poison sect within them. Yan Cheng's expression became somewhat ugly when he spoke until this point. A moment later, he spat out the two sects from his mouth, the Gold Geese Sect and the Mulan Valley. Gold Geese Sect? Mulan Valley, Xiao Yan softly muttered these two somewhat unfamiliar names in his mouth. His eyes also slowly narrowed. The Gold Geese Sect is a powerful faction within the Lu Yan Empire. The sect leader, Yan Luotian, is also a genuine elite Dozong, although he is only at the initial stage of the Dozong class. Mulan Valley belongs to the Mulan Empire. Although it does not have an elite Dozong, it possesses an extremely unique combined Qi method. The people from Mulan calls it the Three Beast Savage skill. There are three elders who practice this Qi method in the Mulan Valley. Although their individual strengths are merely at the peak of the Dohuang class, once the three of them activate the Three Beast Savage skill at the same time, they will be able to put up a fight even if they meet a Dozong. If one were to discuss their strength, they are not any weaker than sect leader Luo Yuntian. Yan Cheng's face was flushed red. Due to the overexcitement in his heart, he ended up sending saliva flying all over the place when he spoke. Xiao Yan's face gradually became gloomy when he heard Yan Cheng's words. If this matter was true, the Jiuma Empire and the Yan Alliance was really in some danger this time around. Three Elite Dozongs this lineup, even if it was Medusa, it was impossible for her to block them. It was unexpected that during that short one year where he was undertaking a retreat, the Jiuma Empire would be turned upside down. Originally, the Jiuma Empire would definitely be unable to endure such a situation even with the support of the Yan Alliance. However, it is fortunate that the interior of the three large empire alliance is also divided. Although the three large sects possessed experts who can contend with a Dozong, none of them were willing to be the vanguard and exchange blows with Medusa. After all, with the exception of the sect leader from the Poison Sect, Yan Luotian from the Gold Geese Sect, and the three elders from Mulan Valley are no match for her in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Moreover, they are all worried that their allies will secretly backstab them should they be seriously injured. Hence, they continue to delay this matter. All they did was send the experts from their sect as harassment. They aim to use this kind of method to slowly tire out the Yan Alliance and the Snake People race, Yan Cheng sighed in a dejected manner. Those poison masters that we have seen earlier should be members from the poison sect that have snuck in. However, what is strange is that so many of them would sneak in at once. Logically speaking, the surroundings of the defensive line have many experts from the Yan Alliance patrolling it. Yan Cheng felt somewhat uncertain when he spoke up to this point. Based on common sense, even if someone managed to occasionally sneak in, he was usually alone. This time around, however, Yan Cheng who did not have an answer no matter how he thought about it could only shake his head and say, with the current situation, 
we can only hope that the Yan Alliance and the Snake People race will be able to stop them completely. Otherwise, we will really be faced with a broken country and destroyed homes. We are born in Jiama and have grown up in Jiama. We don't wish to be hopeless people who had to leave their homeland. Xiao Yan softly sighed as he looked at the low-spirited mercenaries around him. He patted Yan Cheng's back and whispered with a bright smile, Relax, the Yan Alliance will not fall. Anyone who wants to let it collapse will have to step over my corpse. KK, I think that I am really an irresponsible Alliance chief to actually fail to participate in such a big event. The face of the black-robed, young man was covered by a bright smile. Under the influence of the warm smile, Yan Cheng's dispirited feelings involuntarily scattered. A countless number of people within the Jiuma Empire placed their hope in this young man, who was in control of a large being like the Yan Alliance at merely the age of 20. This was because they knew that this young person had the ability to create a miracle. KK, the people of the Yan Alliance and us, the people of the Jiuma Empire, have been waiting for your return. You are now the savior of everyone in the Jiuma Empire. Yan Cheng rubbed his somewhat reddened eyes and laughed, that's right, if Chief wishes to head to the front line, you can hurry to the Eastern Black Mountain Fortress. The battles there are the most intense. Most of the experts from the Yan Alliance and the Snake People race are there. Since that is the case, Xiao Yan shall not stay any longer. Xiao Yan smiled. His gaze swept toward the distant eastern sky. He slowly nodded and did not say any other words as he cupped his hands toward Yan Cheng. Jade green fire wings slowly extended out from his back. Immediately, his body rose into the sky in front of the many respectful gazes. Everyone, hold on, Xiao Yan has returned. Xiao Yan's gaze looked into the distant eastern sky. He muttered to himself within his heart before flapping his fire wings, transforming into a ray of light as he rushed over.